morning okay welcome on back so I've been asked a couple of times where did I get uh, I'm just getting the weapon so you know what the heck I'm talking about the Ansper rapier so Like most rapiers throughout all the Souls games, uh, it's a point weapon. Now, I find it a bit slow in these games. In Dark Souls 3, for example, the Ifra rapier, super fast. This, as you can see, it's not particularly fast. You may, you may think it looks fast, but for a rapier, that's pretty slow. And there's pretty much no poise damage. However, standard, the weapon comes with Scarlet Rot. And you can infuse it as well. So right now, with this weapon, <clears throat> you can see we've got our 202 plus 267 physical attack. We've also got 50 Scarlet Rot buildup. And we've also got Blood Loss buildup of 84 as well. So, pretty devastating. However, if you combine that with any other rapier, so this is just a standard rapier that's got the uh, cold ashes of war on it. And you can see, it's pretty devastating, really. Extra blood strike to build up the blood. For every hit that I'm doing, I'm generating cold damage, rot damage, blood damage, and physical. So if you like that kind of stuff, uh, it's not a bad little weapon. Okay, so enough of the bollocks. I'm just going to put my previous weapon back on. Which is also quite an uh, interesting weapon, Vikes War Spear. I wish you could pause while you're doing these kind of uploads. I'm doing this through uh, the normal PlayStation screen capture thing. The fuck is it? Ah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to whack a shield back on and then we're good to go. GTG, good to go. Now this little weapon I've got is pretty tasty. It's quite heavy, not mega fast, but it also does causes a frenzied flame and a special attack. Okay, you take a bit of frenzied damage, but it's devastating. Anywho, let's hop on our horse and get going. We've wasted three minutes of bollocks. So, dependent on what sites of grace you've unlocked, uh, I'm doing it from the old Atlas Tunnels. Uh, you can do it right from the lift, taking this route. Uh, but where we're heading to is the Shaded Castle area. Not a secret area, tricky to get to for some people. But this route we're going to take, it should be fairly straightforward. Straight across, boom, there. And the rapier is just around this area. So, I'm going to plop down a couple of little uh, markers. Just as a rough, very rough guide. Always miss that bit. So you see how there's a little tunnel through the back of the trees. Don't worry, if the giants follow, we're just giving them a slapping. And you can see right in front of us, Shady Castle. Now, a lot of people, for some reason, they end up coming at it from the other end, up where that uh, bridge is just above us. And then they struggle trying to get down. 
that from the old Atlas tunnels is a piece of piss. Now, if you want to, while you're here, just in case you die, because there is some useful items around here. Uh, shit, where am I going? Is it that one? No. Uh, there's a site of grace just around here that you can. Uh, here we go. Enemies can hit hard here, but they are weak to fire. I see the damage that does. There's a quite a bit of poise damage as well. Um, but it came infused already with the uh, madness. There you go. So at least if you die, you can come back here. Actually, sorry, it's just. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't. Uh, yeah, it'd be good if you if this uh, weapon let you scale. Uh, sorry, let you do Ashes of War as well. Watch out for that attack. Not too worried about poison, really. Just in case you're wondering, that was just a uh, cleanse, rot, and poison. So, nice little faith spell. Cures rot and poison, and any other little status effects. Anywho, let's keep going. Now, to get the race rapier, you've got to kill an NPC. Uh, depending on when you come to this area they are a little bit tricky she can be a bit tricky as she's also right next to a giant as well uh, just over uh, I can't see her but she's in that area and there's a giant that will stand up just there now what can complicate things sometimes if he stops, is this plant? Is he gonna do his attack? Yeah, see, so he's aggroed to me. Is it a flame attack? Don't worry about the poison. Kill these just for the health. Just because I have an item that I restore health uh, when I kill an enemy. And it's worth taking them out if you have aggroed them. Um, I've had it before, I've been in the fight. Had a pretty. Uh, the word now basically a tricky point fighting the enemy and then I get blasted with all that bullshit so the idea here really is you want to sort out the woman before the giant or giant before the woman so you can see her she's just ah stop doing that 
think that could be her there. Might be her there. Doesn't matter if you can't aggro her. Because she'll uh, she'll come to life once we enter. There you go. She's there. Right. No bother. Now she's got the weapon, so it potentially she can do rock damage to you at the same time. And they can, she can do an attack to get through your spear as well. However, there's nothing. And there you go. You've got the ants for blood spike. It's a fucking. Most of the best weapons are tongue twisters. Just while we're here, I can't remember, but. I thought that might have been a uh, one of those statues that you can use the giant to break. Or a giant is a, uh, like a, a mechanical thing, isn't he? Okay, so that's how we get the blood and spear finger jig. Now, if, if he's still aggro to you, what you can do, you can just jump on through here. and take on the rest of the Shady Castle. There's somebody lying there, but... Now I do find the... Uh, the Antsbeer Rapier good against certain bosses, ideally slow-moving. And if you double it up with another rapier, boom. You wipe them out literally within minutes. And if you can get the Ashes of War right, depending which which hand you've got the weapon in, uh, it's sometimes good having a poison rapier or frost in the left hand. And then at least you're poisoning them. Now this is the first time I've ever used this weapon, uh, to be honest, didn't even know it existed. Just some shitty weapon, I thought oh, I'll give it a little blast, just bored of using the claymore and all the usual. But anywho, that, as they say, is that. Any questions, pop them in the comments, thanks for watching. Feel free to be kind and give 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 the video a like, maybe. I'm not like a professional walkthrough maker. I just try and make walkthroughs that cut out the bollocks basically. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching and as always, toodaloo!